My name is Steph, if you haven't been here before. And in today's class, we're gonna be focusing on twists while maintaining integrity through our core and strength through our base. It's a 20, 25 minute class, beginner, all levels. And if you like this class, please remember to give it a thumbs up, comment below and subscribe because it really supports my channel and encourages me, encourages me to create more, right? Yes, thanks. So we are gonna start down on our back for today. So bring the feet mat width apart. Lift the tail and lift the hips, lengthen the tailbone, and then release back down onto the ground. So relieving any compression that you might have in the lumbar spine, and then drop the knees in towards one another. Thigh bones become heavy. Pelvis is heavy against the ground. Shoulder blades release and rest. The back of the head is heavy. And you can bring one hand to the belly, one hand to the heart, or both hands down by your side, picking whichever is comfortable in your body, whatever you choose today. And start to breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. Bringing in a more smooth breath. Every inhale energizing and every exhale to soften. And whenever you find yourself maybe wandering off into thoughts in the past or the future, you can use your breath as a tool to bring you back into the present moment, back into feeling, sensation, and of what is now. And take one settling breath and allow your body to soften 10% more. And then we're gonna gently start to windshield wipe with the knees over to the right, back to center, and then over to the left. Through center to the right, and through center to the left. And start to take it at your own pace. Smoothing out your breath to whatever feels natural in these movements. And then coming back to center, this time we're gonna to start to draw the navel in towards the spine. So feel this gentle integration of the core. You might notice that your lower back starts to press against the earth. So keeping this core integrity, we're gonna drop the knees over to the right, controlled and slowly. They don't have to touch down to the ground. And then we're gonna bring them back to center slow as we press, as slow as we release them. And then over to the left side. So slow, steady and controlled movement back to center, lower belly draws in, low ribs draw in. Continuing back and forth. Completing one more side, then coming back to center. Bring the feet just about hip width apart and you can reach your fingers down and make sure that the heels are touching the fingertips and then we're going to start to press down into the ground lift lengthen and squeeze the sit bones lower halfway lift lengthen squeeze starting to bring in this glute activation we're going to do five pulses so five lower halfway four three two one release the hips down just starting to bring awareness and awaken our glute muscles draw the knees in towards the chest and rock side to side Then we're gonna bring our knees at and our hips at a 90 degree angle so that the shins are parallel to the ceiling. And again, start to draw in that lower abdomen, the back, the lower lumbar spine presses against the earth. We're gonna bring our hands behind our head. We're gonna crunch up, keeping the elbows wide or drawn in, totally up to you, but pressing the head into the hands. And on our exhale, we're gonna twist the left elbow to the right knee, extending the left leg. Inhale back to center, 
exhale, twist right elbow to left knee. Inhale, center, exhale, release. Again, inhale, raise, press the head into the hands. Exhale, twisting to the right, left elbow to right knee. Inhale, center, exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, center, and exhale, release. Keeping the shins parallel, maybe even pressing the thighs a little bit more away from you. We tend to cheat and bring them in. Exhale, lift, inhale, lift. Exhale, twist to the right, left leg extends. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, release. Last one, inhale, crunching up a little bit more. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist left. Inhale, center. Exhale, release, draw the shins in towards you and gently rocking side to side. And one more time, we're gonna bring the shins towards the ceiling, this 90 degree bend, like we were sitting on a chair. And we're gonna bring our arms out into cactus. So bring your arms out from side to side, really drawing the lower abdomen in towards you, low ribs tuck in, this core setting around the waist. And we're gonna start to drop the shins over to the right side, keeping both shoulder blades on the ground, only lower about halfway or however low feels good drawing the core in, coming back to center. Starting to lower the shins to the left. Exhale, coming back to center. Slow and controlled, releasing down to the right side. And exhaling, coming back to center. Exhale, back to center. One more at each side. Back to center, draw your knees in towards you and rock side to side. Making our way into a seated position, you can either cross the ankles or roll onto one side. You can sit on something to prop yourself up or just move the flesh away from the sit bones. And we're gonna lengthen through the crown of the head. And then we're gonna exhale, rounding inwards. Seated cat cow, inhale, arching spine away from you, and exhale, round. Inhale, back to center, and then exhale, rounding. Coming into our neutral position, we're gonna bring the hands behind the head and start to press the head against the hands. So we, again, can find that center, the lower pelvis, the sacrum, the shoulders, and the head in one strong, linear line. We're gonna inhale, lengthen through the crown of the head, the low ribs draw in, so we're gonna still maintain that core integration. Now on your exhale, you're gonna start to twist to the right. Right shoulder blade draws in the back body. Coming back to center, inhale, and exhale, twisting to the left. Low belly draws in, see if you can still maintain a neutral pelvis. Starting to twist more from the thoracic region, not relying just on the cervical spine, the neck, or the low back to do all the work because they already are so mobile. So inviting a bit more stability in these regions and more movement into our thoracic to find a bit more balance and share the effort throughout our spine. Let's do one more each side. So inhale, center, exhale, twist wherever you are. Inhale, center, and exhale, twist. Coming back to center, inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale, right hand drops behind your low back, left hand to the right knee. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, twist. Keeping your gaze steady, just tracking in front of your chest. Inhale, release slightly, lengthen. Inhale, and exhale, twist. Inhale to center, raise the arms up. Exhale, left hand behind you, right hand to the left knee. Inhale, lengthen, 
and exhale, twist. Inhale, lengthen, ease off. Sit bones grounded and exhale, twist. Inhaling, arms up, coming back to center. And then bring the hands down in front of you, shifting into tabletop position. You can bring the fingertips towards your knees and just gently start to peel the wrists back. Warming up through the forearms, the hands. And then coming back to center. Planting the left hand in the midline and then raising the right arm up towards the side. We're gonna exhale, threading the needle, but we're gonna just hover this arm. And notice what your pelvis is doing. Try to keep a neutral pelvis, drawing in at the low belly. Inhale, arm, right arm sweeps up. Exhale, thread and hover. One more, inhale, opening up through the right side body, pressing into the left hand. Exhale, threading the needle, and this time dropping on to the left shoulder. And you can bring your left hand in front of your face, or if you'd like to take the gentle bind, you can bring your left arm behind your low back, and it can gently just like nestle into the right hip flexor, grabbing hold of the inner thigh. And if you're like, what are you talking about? Don't worry about it. And take two smooth breaths. Breathe in and exhale, release the left hand, press the left hand into the mat, coming back up into all fours. And we'll switch sides, so bring the right hand to the midline, left hand reaches up. Exhale, thread and hover. Inhale, reach. Exhale, thread and hover. Last one, inhale. And exhale, releasing the left shoulder blade onto the mat. Right fingertips can come from front of your face. Just settle in here or feel free to take the bind. Take smooth, two smooth breaths. And then on your exhale, releasing the right hand, pressing it firmly into the ground to help bring you up into your cat, your all fours position. Tuck the toes, press the hips back, downward facing dog. In your downward dog, bend the knees generously as much as you'd like to, pressing into the big thumb mound, the index finger mound, pressing the floor away from you. Triceps wrap down, creating spaciousness in the, in the shoulders. And if you feel any congestion across this chest or the back shoulders, just bring the hands wider. Release the head, neck, shoulders. And then we're gonna bring the left hand a little bit closer to the midline. We're gonna take our right hand and we're gonna reach back to either the shin, the thigh, or the ankle, looking towards the left armpit. And then releasing the right hand to meet the left and switching sides. So you can bring the right hand more into the midline if you'd like. We're reaching the left hand to the outer right thigh, shin, or ankle, and then gently bring your gaze towards the right armpit or the side wall, really pressing into the right hand, and then releasing the right hand, the left hand to meet the right. Release onto the knees, inhale, cat, inhale, cow, and exhale, cat position. Tuck the toes again, shift the hips back, downward facing dog. Right leg raises, keeping the hips squared, lower belly draws in, low ribs draw in. Knee to nose, and then just stepping your foot wherever it goes. You can draw it in between your hands, release the left knee. Inhale, arms sweep up, draw the left hip forward, right hip back. Exhale, hands behind the head, pressing in the head into the hands. Engage your left glute. And then we're gonna inhale, lengthen, and exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, twist right. One more time, inhale, center, and exhale, twist right. Inhale, center, 
Release the hands down to the earth, step the right leg back, downward facing dog. Inhale and exhale. Left leg raises on the inhale, squaring off your left hip. Exhale, knee to nose, stepping the left foot to wherever it may go, and then just grabbing hold of it to walk it closer. Right knee lowers, drawing the right, right hip forward, the scissoring action, grounding down your foundation, arms sweep up, inhale. Low ribs draw in, hands behind the head, press the head into the hands. Inhale, lengthen through the crown of the head. Low ribs in and exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, center and exhale, twist. Keeping stability in our pelvis. Inhale, center and exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, center, raise the arms and exhale, hands plant to the ground. Untuck the left knee, step back, high plank. Lower the knees down. We're gonna modify to chaturanga all the way to the ground. Inhale, cobra. Lengthen, and then looking over the right shoulder. Inhale, center. Exhale, looking over the left shoulder. Inhale, center. Exhale, press up into your modified high plank. We're just gonna walk the knees in towards your wrists. Cross the ankles behind you, rolling over and making your way all the way down onto your back body. Draw the shins in towards you. Rock side to side. And then bringing the right knee in towards you. Start to walk or toe heel the left leg out long. You can shimmy the hips just slightly over to the right. And then on your exhale, we're gonna bring the right thigh across to a twist. And take three breaths, softening the belly, softening the shoulders, releasing across the eyebrows, hinge of the jaw. Back to center, draw both knees in towards you. Release the right leg out long or as far as is comfortable. You can shimmy the hips to the left if you'd like. And then left thigh comes over to the right side. If you have any props to prop up your knee, if you have any pain or discomfort, listen to your body and what you need. Take three more breaths here. And when you're ready, coming back to center, draw the knees in towards your chest, gentle rock side to side. And release the legs out in front of you. Release the hands down by your side. And systematically starting to release any areas or holding throughout your physical body. Starting at the head, releasing across the brows, the cheekbones, the inner ear, the jaw softens. The throat softens across the chest and the shoulder blades release more. The belly softens. Pelvis is heavy. Thighs release. Shins release. Feet fall wherever they are. We're gonna do a breath, some breath work. 
to be able to drop further into our parasympathetic nervous system. So you're gonna breathe in fully. Pause. Take an extra sip of air. And then release. Moving into parasympathetic dominance. Breathe in. Pause. Sip of air. Pause. Fully release. Last time, breathe in. Pause. Breathe. And then fully exhale, releasing, softening, Shavasana. And when you're ready, starting to wiggle the toes and the fingers, rolling over to one side, and making your way up into a gentle seated position. Whenever you're there, inhale, sweeping the arms up to the side. Exhale, twisting to the right. Sorry, I'm not mirroring you. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, gentle twist. Inhaling, center. Exhale, twist. Inhale. Exhale, twist. Breathe in, back to center. Release the hands down to heart center. Thank you guys for practicing. Namaste. And yeah, if you guys like this class, please make sure you give it a thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe to my channel. Because yeah, it really, really encourages me and supports me. Thanks.
to the ground. Start to feel the pe pelvis heavy against the earth. I'm so sorry. And we're just gonna trace our spine from the fluorodotic curve that curves away from the earth. Then the thoracic curve. That's not gonna happen. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be a disaster. None of that. So long. <laughs>